It's a 10 in my book. It is a freaking 10. If you don't have it, run out and go get it. girl Jay Lovely and I'm back again with another video and of course I'm going to take this time to say welcome if you're new but you know my favorite thing to say is welcome back because that means you're already subscribed today's video is going to be my most favorite and my most complimented fragrance sprays if you're interested in seeing what keeps me smelling so yummy stay tuned I don't want this video to be too long so let's jump right into it. Now, anyone who knows me, if you saw my other fragrance video, yes, you know that I cannot stand vanilla. I can't stand lavender. Ugh. I know lavender has so many relaxing properties to it. It's a great way to de-stress after a long, arduous day. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want that. I don't like it. No. Imagine my surprise when I got a gift one time that was lavender perfume. I said, no, this heifer didn't. Thank you. I appreciate the thought, but I don't want this. But anyway, I smelled it and boy, was I wrong. I'm so happy to say I'm wrong. French lavender and honey. It smells so good. The notes of honey are not too, they're prominent, but they're not overpowering. The lavender is prominent, but it's not overpowering. Blended together, maybe one takes from the other and soaks up the energy of the next because it smells so good together. It's a wonderful blend, and believe it or not, I love it. It's very reminiscent of springtime, frolicking through the park. You're feeling cute. So that's what comes to mind. That's the visual that I get. This is one of the older fragrances, so it's probably retired by now, but if you know Bath & Body Works, you know it's gonna come back. They always recycle. So when they do, I'm gonna be right there for it. This one is not Bath & Body Works. This one is Victoria's Secret. Baby. Oh, when I say it smells amazing, I mean completely amazing, and I get compliments all day long. Old people, young people, kids, cats, dogs, birds. Everybody wants to know, what is that smell? I'll tell you. Horizon in Bloom. Horizon in Bloom, it smells so good. The fragrance notes are pink cactus, peach nectar, and wildflowers. You really will feel like you're shimmering. You're shimmering. You're shimmering. You're shimmering. You're shimmering. You're shimmering. It's light. It's kind of powdery. It's perfumey. And it's a fruity floral. Perhaps it's the pink cactus, but I smell more of the peach and nectar that comes through. It is amazing. And when you layer this with the Jergens original, you know, the cherry almond, all day, all day staying power. My next one is another Victoria's Secret. Pomegranate Lotus. Pomegranate Lotus. Oh my God, it smells so good. It is everything. Ugh. It literally has notes of pomegranate and lotus. It says botanical inspiration. It is all of that. It's sweet. Mm, it's sweet without being overpowering. It's light and airy. It's not powdery to me. It's very fruity because of the pomegranate. It comes through. But the lotus balances it out very smoothly. If you're a fruity floral girl like I am, this is one you need to have. Find it, stalk it, locate it. It's worth it. So moving right along to my Bath and Body. This is another tried and true. I can't get rid of it because I can't find it anymore. Down to the bottom of the bottle, as you can see, it is the Pink Mango Spritzer. Oh my God. Yes. It's perfumey, of course. Uh, the smell, it gives you the feeling of this is an actual perfume an eau de perfume, it really does. It's very fruity, but the notes of it make it not so fruity, if that makes sense. It's a light fragrance. It's something that lasts me all day. What I do is I spray myself with the body spray, then I layer on the corresponding lotion, and then I go back with the body spray. If I'm wearing a wig or something, I also spray my hair. It lasts 
all day long. I don't care. You can be outside. Be, you could be a forklift driver and you're going to smell like this at the end of the day, just like you did at the beginning of the day. Another one that I love is a rare one from Bath and Body Works, and that is the Wild Berry Chamomile. It's very hard to find this one. I happened to find this one on accident. My aunt was looking for some fragrances and she happened to have this at the house. And so when I smelled it, I, I'm a smell freak. I'm just gonna just sniff. I, I wanna smell everything. When I saw this one, I said, I've never seen this one in the store. What is this about? Wild Berry and Chamomile, it says with natural tea oil. Yes, the berries are not prominent. It's fruity, it's light. The tea oil balances it out and makes it very pleasant. It lasts all day long. I have the corresponding lotion, of course. It smells so freaking good. Mm. Yes, this is one of those ones that you spray when you're about to go to brunch with your girls. And they're gonna say, oh girl, what is that? It's one of those. This smells like quick movie date with Bay. It's a nice light fragrance. It lasts a long time. I love it. If you can get your hands on it, get it. Wildberry and chamomile. Now let's go into some of these ones that I picked up. I was going in there for a specific one. The one I was going in there for was the Sunset Blush, gone. Wiped out, online wiped out. I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you guys can find it, please let me know. Let me know. I would do it for you. Ooh, I really would. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> In lieu of that, I happened to find one of my tried and trues, Gingham. Oh, I love Gingham. Gingham, Gingham. The fragrance notes are Blue Freesia, White Peach, Fresh Clementine, Violet, and Clean Musk. The musk is not very heavy. It is close to a perfume. It's very much like a perfume because it lasts so much longer than the average body sprays do. All of those fruits and things come together for a beautiful blend. It's light, it's airy, it's breezy, it's gingham. It's decorated like this because it reminds you of a picnic in the park. Uh, but you'll be the snack, boo. You will be the snack. As I am every time I wear it. I fell in love with this one a long time ago and whenever I see it, I grab it. Let's go into this Bomb baby right here. Bomb baby, bomb baby. <laughs> as good as this. <laughs> this one! Sunshine Mimosa. Ooh. It smells... Whew. Okay, so when I was in the store, the lady was going in on me. You know how the salespeople always want to try to get you to try their latest. She was on my head. Ma'am, did you see Sunshine Mimosa? That's one of our newest ones and we're getting, it's, it's amazing. And I'm like, okay, thank you, thank you. Girl, thank you, okay, I get it. <laughs> I, I need to thank her a million times over because she was everything for this. This has fragrance notes of bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. <sighs> it smells so good, it's very sweet but it's balanced out. It's kind of a, there is a little bit of a powdery kick to it. The champagne is not overpowering. The citrus comes through. It is one of those ones for brunch with the girls. She did her thing with this one. And of course I got the corresponding lotion. So the next one I got is an oldie but a goodie. This one, they kind of repackaged it, but it's a thousand wishes. Okay. Don't come for me because you're gonna be like, Jay Lovely, you said you don't like vanilla, you don't like blah blah blah. I don't, but this one surprised me. I don't know why I purchased this one. You know how you go for the sale and they say grab one so you can get the, the one free? I think that was this kind of situation. And I got the thousand wishes. The fragrance notes are pink prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. Now, I do love amaretto, even though I'm allergic to almonds. If you know, you know. This smells rich. It smells like the holidays. It smells like an all-white party. You know what I mean? This is definitely a fall fragrance. And the bottle is so pretty. So pretty. It does have those touches of vanilla. It's that kind of vanilla base, even though it's not listed in the fragrance notes, but that's what I pick up on. But it smells really good. And with my body chemistry, it works. This is a new one. I was I 
was walking right past it and it assaulted me how good it smelled. I had to have it. I had to have it. That is the Honey Wildflower. Ooh. The fragrance notes are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. Yeah, sweet honey. <laughs> it smells so good. So good. It's sweet. It's slightly powdery. It's not overpowering. It's not too floral, surprisingly. Even though the name is Wildflower, you would think it was just a burst of flowers. It's not. The honey and the wildflower blend together. And as I said, the energy that they share, it smells so good. It's light, long lasting. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a nice summer day. It smells like you're going to run errands and you're looking cute. Let me stop for a couple of pictures. It's one of those, it's that kind of vibe. It's a vlog vibe. Like, you feeling me? Yeah, you feeling me. Why are you feeling me? Because I'm wearing Honey Wildflower. <laughs> it smells like that. It's so light and aromatic. Now this one, baby. Huh? The Champagne Apple and Honey. Let me come close. Champagne Apple and Honey. Oh my God. God, I'm telling you, the Champagne series is hitting. Do yourself a favor. Quit playing with me right now. Stop playing in my face and get this. The fragrance notes are Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. Listen, come close. Are you there? Are you, are you there? They have a candle called Autumn Woods. I got to go back and get it. It does not smell that fall smell that you would think it would smell like. It doesn't smell like that. It's kind of like a fruity floral, and that's what I'm all about. But this right here, I, I don't know if they used some of the Autumn Woods concoction and put it into this one because, baby, this is everything. It's, oh. Mm, you get that burst of apple. The apple is very prominent in this, but it's worth it. With your body chemistry, it's just going to do everything that needs to be done very fragrant very very fragrant sweet but not overpowering the honey is what offsets that sweet tartness of the apple it's a 10 it's a 10 in my book i also picked up another champagne toast because as i said i needed to get the one free the extra free so i went and grabbed a champagne toast and i love the new packaging on it that's so cute it's almost identical to the packaging of the valentino perfume i'll insert a picture so you can see isn't that cute they want to make you feel rich. They want to make you feel luxe. They want to make you feel fabulous. They want to make you luxuriate. <laughs> yes. Giving you that luxury lifestyle with half the price. Over half the price. That part. Last but not least, I fell in love with this one right here. Midsummer Dream. Lord Jesus. Oh my God. It's smells heavenly the fragrance notes are salted pear fresh nectarine and seaside lily this it's so light it's so breezy it's so airy it's sweet it is absolutely heaven in a bottle even the packaging is so pretty it's that ombre kind of sunset if you can see that can you see yeah so you can see it now it's that blue that ombres into yellow then to peach into pink this is summer nights this is summer loving this is bay picks you up this is you guys go get something to eat you wearing a cocktail dress you got the girls up and out you got the toes white polish you're having a pretty cocktail with bay you're laughing over your cocktail <laughs> You're doing the laugh, you know, where you point to your cleavage. <laughs> that. It's that. It's all of that. <laughs> really? Do tell. It's that. It's all of that. Now, just a little tip. This is something extra I wanted to give you guys. I ordered these mini on-the-go atomizers from Amazon. You get a pack of four. And what these do is you go in with your favorite fragrance and you just pump it up into this so you have a travel size no matter where you go. This is the cutest thing ever. I 
love them. I loaded some of these up for my trip to Miami. I know you watch my Miami vlog, right? Yeah, you did. So let me show you how this works. Cause it's blue, so it's corresponding. That's just me. So what you do is you take the top off and you take the smaller top off, right? So you're left with this part, right? So what you do, if you look on the bottom, there's a stopper there and you just place it on top and pump. And if you look, you'll see that it's gonna start filling up. It's already filling up. And there you go. You see it in there? You can see the, there you go, you can see it. You can see the liquid in there. Yeah, so now you have a perfect on the go fragrance. Isn't that cute? Yes. And you just, mm, smells so good. That was the gingham, that's that gingham. This is a must buy, you have to have this. All right, you guys, that's the end of my video. Just wanted to show you guys a few things. We're about love, light, and positivity. If you're not about that, this is not the channel for you. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, my love bugs.